So you take time to rest because you've learned, you know, the important the importance of rest, and that's what you're emphasizing before we went on break as you were having a sip of water from from our lovely uh, hosts here. Um, but in that process, I think I even as you're talking about rest, I think one of the things that we've not mm. discussed in your journey is uh, your social life. So are you, are you you only mentioned dating while in, in high school, in campus. Are you, are, are you at this time also experiencing, uh, the, you, you are a young professional, a fly woman climbing up this career ladder. Is there, is there a man lingering al- along in this journey? You just mentioned in your sisters. <laughs> I'm wondering, is there is there someone coming to? Why is your why is your boyfriend not helping you write these proposals? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I've been in the on the dating scene. Yeah, yeah. At, um, by around that time, eh? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Not just yeah. Why is it? Why is it? Um, yeah, so that is um, silent for uh-huh. now. Oh, it's si- yeah, but I is silent for now. Or is I si- is silent in this story or is silent then? Oh, no, it's been very active and loud. Okay, uh, but I just don't think I have uh, met someone who makes me tick. Oh, at that time, or someone who someone who I connect with mm. uh, so well. Mm. Yeah, mm. so all right, so you're seeing someone yeah. here, someone there, but mm-hmm. uh, they are not matching. You're not. You're not quite. What, what I'm looking for. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And you know what? What I have learned from a number of people, leaders, mm-hmm. individuals, mm-hmm. mentors, coaches, mm-hmm. and what most people say, mm-hmm. one of the most important decisions any person, male right. or female, can make yeah. in their yeah. career journeys and mm-hmm. in their lives mm-hmm. is who you marry or True. who you get married. True. To. Very, yeah. very important. Yeah. So where you're going is important. Um, who you go there with oh yeah is, is perhaps more important because they'll determine whether yeah. you actually get there or whether yeah. you your journey there is paralyzed true you know um so or is completely veered off mm-hmm. um yeah <laughs> yeah so it's it's super 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 important and um so i'm eager to hear by the end of this journey if uh, that story will change or that story will will not uh, <laughs> okay. uh um so so y- with your so you learn you know at that point mm-hmm. uh, i think what stood out is the importance of rest you Self-care. know so that yeah stopping slowing down so that you don't get yourself into this um into this space where you are mm. getting burnt out again yeah. where your health or your body mm. slows you down mm. um but then you're learning this also when funding is coming. Yeah. When, when you need to do the work. When you actually now need to yeah. execute a year after yeah. after all of these like sort of blessings yeah. have, have, have dawned and come into the organization. Does that and then where you also require to put structures. Structures means staff. Policies, mm-hmm. systems, mm-hmm. all those things. Mm. Human resource, mm. the board, mm. everything. It's and a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Did you put that? Did, yes, did you absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think that's why um, we have been able to create trust with our partners mm-hmm. for them to actually see that this is a credible institution that leads on integrity, stands on integrity, serves well, has mm-hmm. impact, mm-hmm. documents documents the impact, mm-hmm. evaluates mm-hmm. the work that mm-hmm. they do mm-hmm. and gets to share mm-hmm. with us. And so mm-hmm. we have a few more partners on board, but oh, putting in place systems and building an institution takes work. Mm-hmm. It has to be intentional. Mm-hmm. Um, it is costly, but mm-hmm. it is important. Mm-hmm. It is important. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You brought on board um, con- what, what so your for the longest time you mm-hmm. were solo yes you were the singular staff by the time at least the funding was coming uh, that that initial set of funding was coming so uh, at the, within the first year mm-hmm. of implementation how how f- rapidly did you grow 
Uh, we grew so fast because mm -hmm. then at least we were able to hire professionals to come on board and join us in, in the work we were doing. Mm -hmm. So How I many? think we were about seven to ten staff. All right. Um, first, second, third year. So uh, some key positions. Yes. Yeah. Now we are a team of 14 full-time staff Ooh. and eight part-time mm -hmm. staff mm. based in the eight uh, part-time staff are based in the counties. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a pool of mentors, like over 600 mentors, mm. all volunteers mm -hmm. um, who then get to be paired up with uh, mentees and support them and guide them in their journeys. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's it's really amazing and, and, and that's why I say it's meaningful because mm. I have had many moments when young people come to me and even those who are not so young mm. to share their success stories mm -hmm. and their journeys and say I learned this from you or mm. I came through ELF and now I have a job or mm. now I started a business and I'm employing other young people mm. or I created a, a policy or a bill in this county or participated in this process in this county or at the national level or at the regional level so it's exciting to hear those stories of transformation right yeah right that's 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 i think it's a lot more than could even ask for it's very oh, fulfilling, yeah. right yeah it's absolutely fulfilling. but the learning journey i've just discovered never stops yeah like what mandela said in mm. the long walk to freedom that life is made up of so many hills mm. you climb one hill you get to the peak and you realize there's another mm. you climb it you realize there's another hill mm. Mm. so it's either you need to build the capacity of the team then you do that you realize no you need to update a policy here or mm. a policy there you mm. need more partners on board you mm. need um, board members you mm. need you need this you need to innovate around your programming mm. so it's you you always as a leader mm -hmm. You're always working on something. And mm. personally, I am also, I love growing myself. I love building my skills, my mm. capacity. Mm. And so one of the most transformative fellowship programs I ever joined was the Obama Africa Leaders Program, right. which I joined in 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine forwarded to me the um, call for applications. Mm -hmm. I applied. Mm. Um, and got to join the rest of the young African leaders to go to South Africa mm. to learn and interact with amazing leaders like Kofi Annan, mm. uh, President Ilan Johnson Sirleaf, mm. President Obama, mm. um, and a number of leaders drawn from the continent mm -hmm. and a, a few from outside the continent. Mm. And that was such a pivotal moment in my journey. Mm -hmm. I got to interact firsthand with amazing young men and women from across the continent doing amazing work through the, the organizations many of them had started mm. or they are running entities and enterprises started by other people but they're doing some really amazing work. Mm. Um, just talking about some collaborations across the continent, building solidarity, building a support system uh, and just having individuals of like mind and, and value system, mm. or oh, that was really powerful, mm. or oh, that, that was really amazing, mm. just mm. being a part of um, right. that particular fellowship program. Right. And it is the same year mm -hmm. um, that Obama got to acknowledge um, the work we do at Emerging Leaders Foundation mm. Mm. Uh, in his speech during the Mandela's 100 year celebration. Mm. Um, and I remember we were seated in a hall listening to President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, Trevor Manuel from South Africa, and Kofi Annan share about their leadership journeys, mm. lessons, land. Mm. And a friend of mine called Bina mm. um, sends me a message and Bina says, Maseno. Bina Maseno. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know Bina? Mm -hmm. Okay. So she sends me a message and mm. says, Oh, Karen. Mm. President Obama just talked about you mm. in his speech at the stadium. I said, mm. no, you're lying. Mm. And she said, no, I'm, I'm serious. I'm seated here. And he just mentioned your name mm. and the work of Emerging Leaders Foundation. Mm. I said, really? I said, no, mm. he, he doesn't even know me. Mm. Um, then a few minutes later, social media, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp. Mm. Over the last few days, 200 young people from across this continent who are doing the hard work of making change in their communities, who reflect Madiba's values, who are poised to lead the way. People like uh, Abbas Mpindi, 
a journalist from Uganda who founded the Media Challenge Initiative to help other young people get the training they need to tell the stories that the world needs to know. People like Karen Wakoli, who's an entrepreneur from Kenya and founded the Emerging Leaders Foundation to get young people involved in the work of fighting poverty and promoting human dignity. My friends are saying, oh, Karen, congratulations, blah, blah, blah. It blows up with this. Yeah. Mm. Then I'm like, oh, my goodness. So it's true. Mm. So um, the meeting was over, went to my room, and, you know, so it, it sunk in, mm. you know, what had just happened. Mm. And then the following day, his media team called the mm. three of us, myself mm. and two Ugandan mm. gentlemen who had been mentioned mm. to just interview us about our mm. experience and, and, you know, all that. Mm. Um, and I, I remember asking the question, uh, so how come my name came up in the, in, in the speech? Mm. And they said, okay, but, but we do research. President Obama has people who do research. And yes, we learned about the work you're doing. Mm. And we did research on, on your journey. Mm. And you're uh, an amazing leader. And mm. so we, uh, the president decided to celebrate you and you mm. know just give you a shout out. Mm. That was interesting. And of course, later, the whole team hadn't met him. Then later, mm. we got to meet him, had an interview with him. Mm. Um, and, and one of the... The things about President Obama and a few other leaders like Nelson Mandela, the intentionality and the ability to be all that but still remain humble, approachable, mm, mm. empathetic, mm. and be with the common man, woman, child down there on the ground it is so amazing. Right. And I want to believe that it comes from a place of self awareness mm. that when you know yourself as a leader, who mm. you are, what mm. your assignment is mm. in this life, mm. then these things about pomp, color, position, yeah. status, what you've done, th mm. they don't really count. What mm. counts is your assignment. Mm. And I learn, I learn quite a lot from, from those particular individuals. Mm. Nelson Mandela, mm. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., mm. our own Professor Angari Madai. Mm. Um, and when you were talking about my journey, you talked about a few other accolades mm. here and there. Mm. Before, before you move to those, mm -hmm. uh, while still, while still with uh, um, Obama, mm -hmm. was there was there an aura with with him? And he's just an ordinary, ordinary leader who who relates with 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 people yeah. in, in a very simple, approachable way, like. Like that's really amazing. Yeah. Um, it baffles me how sometimes I encounter individuals who've just achieved one thing, maybe gotten elected to office or made their first million, and they want everybody to notice who they are and acknowledge that. And no, mm. it, it, it's not about that. It's who you are, mm. your, your authentic self as a leader, as a person, mm. and and what impact you're having in this mm. life. Mm. Yeah. And and was there like lots of security to? No, I'm just asking all of this. Not before. quite. Mm. Not quite. It was there and, in SA. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I have I have seen the same with other leaders like um, President Len Johnson Salif, um, the former South African First Lady. Winnie? No, the other one. Who's wife? Nelson Mandela. Uh, Her name escapes <laughs> my mind. Not Winnie, but... Grasha Michelle. Oh, Grasha. Grasha Michelle. Yeah, yes. yeah. So, so these right. very well accomplished individuals, they don't walk with yeah, security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think they, they realize the power of human contact and authenticity. Mm. And I think it's really powerful. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay, so you are explaining also. Yeah, about a few other accolades here and there, recognition here and there. Mm. And and for me, I just um, appreciate the far I have come. Mm. Do you know, I, I, I believe I'm a product of the many people I have interacted with, the books I have read, the films I have watched, mm. the mentors and coaches that continue to guide me. Mm. I'm a product of all that. Mm. Mm. So sometimes I hear people saying they're self-made. I'm like, what? 
self-made? Is it possible to be self-made? Mm. No. Mm. no, 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 no. Mm. We learn from other people. I mm. have learned a lot from you mm. uh, f- uh, since the first time we met and interacted. Mm. So for me, oh, lifelong learning, mm. uh, I believe, is, is, is the way to go. Mm. I keep wanting to be a better leader, better human being, yeah. empathize better, mm. listen better, mm. lead better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's that's that's the journey of life and um and I think you're sharing a lot as well. And uh we all and everyone, you know, watch <coughs> watching you and watching your journey is also learning through a lot of what you're saying, through a lot of what you know your journey is is about. Um and so as you um as you look forward now, you mm-hmm. know, um and connect the dots the dots yeah. backwards. Um, what do you see? You know what what has become. Are you are you happy with what 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 you're seeing? Yes.